it wasn't too bad. Oh, hitting that lock stop. Oh! <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa on a track I know in a car I know with the fan attack to see if this is still a viable wheel for me here on a set of Corsa. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll find the description box below. Let's get to it. So we're going to see how this works out. I can already feel a difference than what I'm used to from the Moza wheels that I've been using for quite some time. The belt drive V2.5. Of course, my wheel settings may not be fully correct for this wheel comparatively to my direct drive wheels, but we're going to give it our full send and our best ditch effort. Oh, man. Oh, as I say ditch, we go almost into the ditch. The E92 Eurofighter, definitely one of my favorite cars. This, my, this was my practice car to my M4 that I built when I wanted to practice with the car and the physics and everything before I fully released that car. So, oh my. I mean, it's real motion. This V2.5 with the NRG Innovations lightweight sim wheel definitely bringing back memories of using my Fanatec setup before I hooked up with Moza and got the direct drive wheels. Definitely can appreciate the uh, smoothness and the linearity of those direct drive wheels now. Comparatively, going back to this. Oh man. Now this wheel is still a very good viable wheel. I still feel that this is a extremely nice wheel. But I've been spoiled by my R21, my R9, my R5. But this is bringing back the feels in red line with this car. This car was really created way before I even got hooked up with Moza because if you notice the door decals nah, do not have Moza racing on them. This was before. Are just lighten this thing up. I think I may have tire damage on. We definitely have tire damage on because uh, I absolutely have. This is sixth gear with absolutely no tires. Well, instead of changing. Uh, the tire wear we decided to come to Long Beach and run it in an FD style course to see if we can still run this course with the Fanatec. I was on Fanatec and Forza Motorsports and all that on this course before so I should be able to do this but we're gonna find out. Short there. That one wasn't too bad. Oh, hitting that lock stop. Oh, <laughs> a little wall tap, nothing major. So, overall, that run was not too bad. We're going to try and get one more solid run in on another set of tires. Let's take a look at the outside. Other than I believe, because we were deep there. I think we were, yeah, we missed this zone completely. But we were all the way out, digging out that first zone. So hopefully we can actually go out to that second zone on that wall and not go into the wall. And we'll take a look at the replays. 
because that was a pretty solid run. So the Fantech V2.5 definitely still a very, very viable wheel for myself. Definitely do love the feel of my Moza wheels, but we have this on the rig. Thought we'd come back and give it a shot. Go back in the feels of it. The nostalgia of it. Run number two. Short there. Oh no. That was a wall. It said we wanted to get out to the wall, not into the wall. Unfortunately, we got into the wall. I think we bent something. So let's take a look at those two replays because those were some pretty pretty solid runs. We're going to have to run this. We're running from the chase cam because there's no replay angle. So we'll take a look at the first run, see where we were really at. Entry was, entry was pretty good. We punted that. Really got out. We transitioned too late, and that's why we were not there. We definitely dug into that wall and that zone so other than that one zone that was a very very solid run a little wall tap at the end check a look at this final run make sure you guys follow me on all social media all the description box below hope you guys are enjoying all the content if you guys aren't subscribed appreciate you hit that subscribe button and tap the like button I appreciate all the continued support from you guys here on the channel one probably was not as good i think yeah entry shallow got out there and then oops too much of a wall hit there so it was always like thank you guys for coming back and watching we rabbit i'll see you guys on the track